hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. And let's see, you've crawled up into an attic and you've drilled a hole right here and you have fished some MC cable behind a nicely finished wall. And you go down about seven feet or so. Maybe you're putting in a receptacle. And what I want to know is, do you think this is legal by the 2020 NEC code? Can you fish this MC cable behind a finished wall without supporting it while it's behind the wall. Now up here, if you can get up there to drill this hole, I'm sure you can put a staple right, right here to support it there. And of course, when you put in your receptacle, it will be supported at the box, on the box. But behind the wall, no support. So my question to you is, do you think that is legal by the 2020 NEC. Here we are at the 2020 NEC Article 330.30D, Unsupported Cables. Type MC cable shall be permitted to be unsupported and unsecured where the cable complies with any of the following. So we've got three items here. If any of these three are complied with, then we can use the MC cable in an unsupported, unsecured manner. So one is fished between access points through concealed spaces in finished buildings or structures and supporting is impractical. So this is the situation we have right here. We have a finished building and we're, we've got an access point up in the attic where we drilled that hole and we have an access point where we're going to put our new receptacle. So, and then we got a concealed space in a finished building. So the answer is yes, we can, not a problem. Number two is not more than 1.8 meters, that's six feet in length from the last point of cable support to the point of connection to luminaries or other electrical equipment. And the cable and point of connection are within an accessible ceiling. So one example of this would be a drop ceiling. And if you're using MC cable, you can go six feet from the last point of cable support to your point of connection on your light. Luminaries means light. Number three is type MC of the interlocked armor type in length not exceeding 900 millimeters, that's three feet from the last point where it is securely fastened and is used to connect equipment where flexibility is necessary to minimize the transmission of vibration from equipment or to provide flexibility for equipment that requires movement after installation. For the purpose of this section, type MC cable fittings shall be permitted as a means of cable support. So if you said yes, you can. You're absolutely correct. Congratulations. So let's compare that to Article 334.30B, unsupported cables. This is about the non-metallic sheath cables. Okay, similar subject, different cable. Non-metallic sheath cable shall be permitted to be unsupported where the cable is fished between access points through concealed spaces in finished buildings or structures and supporting is impractical. Impractical. They use a different word here, impracticable. The other one just said impractical. <laughs> anyway, I guess that I think they mean the same. So, but number two, there's definitely a difference. Two is not more than 1.4, that's four and a half feet. So for uh, non-metallic sheath cable, you only get four and a half feet um, from the last point of cable support to the point of connection to a luminaire. With the MC cable, you get six feet. So that's one advantage to using MC cable in this kind of situation. Another important consideration, when you fish cable behind a wall, perhaps for seven feet. If you fish it with the MC cable, you're giving yourself more protection from screws and nails 
and so forth that happened to be sticking out of the drywall or just something that might be in there that's sharp. If you use MC cable, you're protected to a greater degree from situations like that. I'll put links in my video description for this spiral bound NEC code book and for the NEC 2020 handbook. Also, I'll put links for Ugly's reference books and for the DeWalt cable stapler. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.